NFF wants to be the greatest cornerback to ever play the game. The only problem? He's white. But after a very impressive combine and college career, the Chiefs traded up to select him with the fifth overall pick. Now NFF had to prove he was the top guy in his debut against the Detroit Lions, and he was not off to a hot start. On this play, he's looking for his first career sack, and he gets embarrassed by Jared Goff. So after that, he knew he had to bounce back. He sat back in coverage, and Jared Goff throws up a Ray Charles, and NFF grabs the first interception of his career. He would go on to finish his debut game, grabbing a few more tackles to put up a stat line in his debut of five tackles and one interception. Now in week two against the Jacksonville Jaguars, NFF knows that if he wants to be the greatest, he's going to have to do more than that, and he is being targeted by Trevor Lawrence early. But both passes fall incomplete. Now on a first and 10, Trevor Lawrence looking for the slant. He's able to get it, but we're going to tackle him short of the sticks. And on third down, we're able to sniff out the screen, but we just give up the first down. And a play later, again, we recognize the screen and we're able to step up on it. Now in the third quarter, they got a third and long, and Trevor Lawrence tests NFF, and he gets the second of his career. And he's taking this one back to the house. He is going to outrun Evan Ingram and Trevor Lawrence for his first touchdown of his career. NFF with his first pick six and week two against the Jaguars. And in case you forgot he's white, here's his lame-ass touchdown celebration. And right after that, Trevor Lawrence goes and tests the user again, but we're able to knock it away. And on the very next play, NFF levels his receiver, but he holds on to the ball. And up seven, Trevor Lawrence is looking to make up the deficit, but he's trying to test NFF, and NFF comes down with that football again. The Chiefs were now 2-0, and Justin Fields was testing NFF early, but he was able to break up the pass. And later that drive, Justin Fields was taken off, but NFF is going to meet him before the first down marker. With an 11-point lead, NFF looking to extend it here with another pick, but Justin Fields not only overthrew his receiver, he overthrew the cornerback. Now on a 4th and 4, Justin Fields has nowhere to go, so he's going to take off, and he is met by NFF right before the first down marker for a turnover on downs. Now Justin Fields, late in the fourth, chucks up a prayer and NFF drops it. Justin Fields clearly saw something he liked because he's going right back to it. And it is this time dropped by Chase Claypool. Now at 3-0, the Chiefs are looking to make light work of the Jets and Meikle is leveled. This game was an absolute runaway and the Chiefs at this point were just looking to pad stats. So when Rodgers chucks one up, you know NFF had to come down with it for another pick. And because he's white, he had no moves to make. He's trying to gain a reputation as a dirty player. He levels a defenseless receiver. There was no flag, but the league will definitely find him for that one. And in case you forgot just how dominant this defense was, another defensive touchdown for the unit. After a dominant week, we're looking to continue and we're gonna get our first career sack. NFF gets his first on Kirk Cousins and hits the head, shoulders, knees, and toes so you know he's white. The Chiefs have been very dominant to start the season, but this is where we started to face some trouble against the Denver Broncos. While NFF may have been making tackles here, he was getting absolutely shredded in the secondary. Russell Wilson was having no problem finding Cortland Sutton on that back shoulder all day, and they absolutely abused NFF in the secondary. Since NFF couldn't contribute in the secondary, he was looking to make tackles, and that's what he does here. And again, he tries, but the running back gets into the end zone, so NFF takes out his frustration on his kick returner. But of course, tackling your teammates doesn't actually make you able to cover your receiver, so I was still getting shredded. Until Russell Wilson throws up a Ray Charles again. What an awful pass. NFF's going to come down with that one to pad his stats for the casual viewers. Now on the last play of the game, the Denver Broncos needed a miracle. They were down by three with no time on the clock. They're going to throw it up and it's going to get intercepted. We just narrowly escaped the Denver Broncos and we're moving on. And in case you thought the coverage in last game was bad, the coverage on this play was abysmal. But luckily, we're able to catch him because we are super fast for a white guy. The struggles continue, however, as we get absolutely bounced by the receiver on this one. And on the next drive, we get leveled by Austin Eckler, of all people. But NFF always comes through when it matters. And on fourth and two, he gets Eckler short of the sticks to turn the ball over. Now an open field chance against Eckler for revenge, and we take him down. But again, we can't actually cover anybody on the back shoulder, so we are getting embarrassed. And now to tie the game, we lose our man in zone coverage, and Austin Eckler makes us pay, and Coach was furious. 
and he was about to get more furious because I forgot to guard my guy again and they're gonna get into field goal range. And of course, they kick their field goal and give us our first loss of the season. We are looking to bounce back against the Denver Broncos, who we narrowly beat last time, and Ray Charles here. Absolute horrible pick from Russell Wilson. Throw it right to me. And Russell Wilson was horrible today. Here he is getting picked off on another horrendous throw. And on third down and two, NFF is able to make the stop to force a punt. But down six late in the fourth with only 50 seconds left, Russell Wilson's gonna take off and we're gonna meet him and get absolutely tossed by Russell Wilson. And while it didn't hurt on the scoreboard, it clearly hurt the ego. The Chiefs were gonna win it, but that one hurt. Then we faced the Miami Dolphins who were absolutely pounding the rock this game. They were pounding us, they were pounding the defense, and we were getting pounded over and over and over and over. And Tua was throwing suicide passes towards the dirty player he knows I leveled his receiver. This one clearly got out of hand, but we're looking to make a comeback. We get him short and they got to settle for a field goal. We come back the other way and get seven. Now I come to the other side of the field because my teammates are useless. Patrick Mahomes actually scores the other way, so we're looking to get Patrick Mahomes the ball back here in the fourth. Give him some to work with. But unfortunately, they continued to pound us and my guy got pancaked on this play where the Dolphins gave us our second loss of the season. Now it's seven and two, we're looking to bounce back against the Eagles, and if defensive touchdowns are the theme of the season, here's another one for you. We pick one up against Jalen Hurts, and we're taking this one to the house. Another defensive touchdown for the Chiefs. This one was not super eventful. All you really need to know is it ended in a Jalen Hurts interception and a win for the Chiefs. We move to eight and two. Now week 11, we're playing the Raiders, and you'll be shocked to know what happened another defensive touchdown. And then honestly, it just had a little severe lapse of judgment here. I was trying to get picks because I wanted to keep it exciting, but we, we were able to keep him out of the end zone. So that's really all that matters. And then he tests us again and my guy just doesn't grab the ball. I don't know what that was all about, but you know what we are all about? 110% effort. We're making tackles from the opposite side of the field. And ultimately this one ended up in an easy win for the Kansas City Chiefs. But not before Jimmy Garoppolo tossed us another interception. We're able to get our feet down and we're able to get the interception. And we move on to Green Bay, a potential Super Bowl matchup here where we're looking to slow down Jordan Love. And you can see NFF getting more confident as he fights through the block on this one to make the tackle. And on this play, we're looking for the pick, but we don't come down with it. Somehow he catches the ball in front of us. And NFF wanted a pick bad here. He absolutely sells out but comes up empty. And on fourth and 26 with a game on the line, he's targeting NFF, he's able to break it up, and we're gonna escape Lambeau with a win. And now for our week 13 matchup, we got the Buffalo Bills. They finally got me returning punts in this one, so you know I'm taking off, I'm getting to the outside, and I'm off to the races. First punt return, first punt return, touchdown, absolutely. And of course, we are white, so we don't know what to do when we get into the end zone. No highlights from our side of the field because he was too scared to come to this side of the field, but we ended up in overtime. And in true Josh Allen overtime fashion, he throws the ball to the wrong team. And that one is going to do it, folks. The Chiefs are walking out of this one. We're kicking the field goal for the win. Now we're on to New England, and NFF wants to show you to never give up on a play here. He gets past everyone except we're able to chase him down. And yet another defensive score for us. I hope you've been starting our defense in your fantasy leagues. And on 4th and 10 here, we make a stop that was absolutely straps. That was all me. And go ahead and stop me if you've heard this before. But you'll be shocked to know on 4th and 23, it was actually picked off by Legereus Sneed. And you'll be even more shocked to know that Legereus Sneed is going to take this for another defensive touchdown. And we're back in Kansas City taking on the Raiders who we made light work of last time. We're hoping to do it again here. Coach gets us back for the punt return. It's been a while since we've had one of these, but we're getting it. We're bouncing to the outside. One man to beat. It's AJ Cole and we beat him. Outside, we got him. Punt return, touchdown number two of the season for NFF. And of course, it's your daily reminder, white people can't dance. And on the very next drive, Jimmy Garoppolo's gonna test us towards the sideline and we get both feet down. This was an absolute crazy interception from NFF. The replay's even crazier, honestly. Both feet just barely get down. We got the interception there. And of course, I hope you started our defense this week because 
Here's another interception, and this one's gonna go all the way, it's going for six. And you'll be shocked to know on fourth and six that Jimmy Garoppolo did in fact give us another Ray Charles. Eventually the Raiders decide they're just gonna concede this game to us, which means they're gonna punt it. And I don't know why they'd do that, because obviously we're taking this one for our second of the game, and our third of the career, and we didn't know what to do in the end zone anymore, so we just kicked our feet a little bit. Team got me giggling and smiling. Then we had a potential AFC Championship matchup. We're playing the Bengals here. And this game was really just an impressive performance in the tackling department from NFF specifically. All over, all of the plays, making all the tackles all around the field when no one else is guarding anybody. Now this play is absolutely controversial. I'd love to know your call on this one. He hits T. Higgins in the back of the end zone and he drops it. The ball is on the ground and they called it a touchdown. Unfortunately, that would be the first touchdown we give up in man coverage this year, except it wasn't really a touchdown, so I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but whatever. We move to our final regular season game and watch the straps on this play. What a play from NFF, are you kidding me? <laughs> and of course, the theme of the season, I hope you started our defense in your fantasy league, because we're gonna end the season the way we started the season with a defensive touchdown. There goes Legereus Sneed faster than everyone else. And we are going to handle Los Angeles. With the regular season over, we took a look at the awards, and we lost to Trent McDuffie. My own teammate is my op. Are you kidding me? How did Trent McDuffie win Defensive Player of the Year over us? We won Best DB, and we won Defensive Rookie of the Year, but we got beat out by Trent McDuffie. Now NFF had to go out there and pretend like he wasn't bothered by the fact that he just lost Defensive Player of the Year to his own teammate. And we're facing the Chargers in the divisional round a third time this season. We're playing them at home, so hopefully we can steal this one and move on to the conference championship. And hopefully you started our defense because here's a fumble, and right after that, here's an interception. As always, Chiefs defense taking care of business. And in the Chargers' final push, we knock down the two-point conversion. And that's going to do it. The Chiefs are moving on to the conference championship. Another regular season rematch here. We ended up playing the Bengals. Coach got me back for a punt return. It was time to make my move and score us a touchdown in the playoffs. But unfortunately, I'm white, so I got hot down. And after we got an 11-point lead, they were looking for a play action. But I stepped in front of it. And you know I was off to the races looking to make a move. But as you know, I'm white. I don't have moves to make. But that was a big interception, and we're hoping Patrick Mahomes can capitalize. Shockingly enough, this game was actually a runaway because Joe Burrow threw the ball to the wrong team again, and I'll let my live commentary do the talking here. Sucks to suck. See you, Jamar. Have a nice flight back to Cincinnati. And the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time for the Super Bowl. Bryce Young's gonna test me early, and I'm taking that! First drive, first interception of the Super Bowl for NFF. And just because that's the Super Bowl doesn't mean I learned how to dance because what am I doing out there? We're hitting a little shimmy. Not quite sure what's happening here, but we're we're excited. <laughs> we score, but unfortunately on the next drive, this guy gets lost in coverage and he's going to get into the end zone. We respond with a field goal, but shortly after, we're about to give up an absolute bomb here and the Panthers are going to take a lead. And right before half, we're just looking to prevent here, but unfortunately we run into our own guy and give up a field goal before half. And then after Patrick Mahomes threw a pick six in the third quarter, we found ourselves down by 14, just looking to make something happen here. We needed a stop and we did not get it. The Panthers ran away with this one and we've lost in our Super Bowl.